my mind. We've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. All right. To Glitzville. So now we can go up here and use our ticket. Flight goes to Glitzville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us. Everything looks in order. We'll be coming aboard. And please watch your step as you board. You have a pipe to travel? Oh, the pipe leads to the blimp. Alright. I didn't see that in the back. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory, of course. <laughs> we barely all fit in this blimp. Adam Flurry takes up so much of it. My my, Glitzville. I've heard the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit the prospect of some hurly-burly gets me a touch peaked. I see a shine sprite. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star, hmm? Shine sprite. Can I even reach this? Oh, I can't even reach that. Oh, a spin jump, maybe? No? Oh, okay. Interesting. How was I supposed to know there was a thing there? Let's head on in. Anything else around here? This is like the classic arena chapter in RPGs. This looks like an arena. This reminds me of the fighting, the fighting tournament in Breath of Fire 3, honestly, in Genmo. <laughs> the glorious venue, oh mercy Mario, look there. Those two brutes are about to have at each other. That's right, uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Oh, he's dead. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. We champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? Call to the match? Ain't there a fighter out here who could challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can ma make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it, I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. Har har har. There's his belt. Oh my word, Mario. On that uncouth bird's belt, is that a crystal star? 
Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star. It's such a tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? Why, indeed? Oh, whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What should we do, Mario? Battle our way to the top. Oh, you darling man, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I'd expect nothing less. If you're ten times the man anyone here, you'll be the champion in no time. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters, I imagine. Oh, my heart is positively thumping. Let's find whoever's in charge this minute. Alright. What the heck? Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of man. You, you're smashing deer. And I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion Rawcock, Toodaloo. <laughs> What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hall. You can't miss it. Head on through. Half the damage Mario takes when he has 5 HP or less. We've never had less HP, so that's kind of worthless. Sorry, fighters, only bub. No one ever, no one else admitted. All right. There's a major league locker room, bub. Sorry, you can't go in here. Save. This is the champion's room. Only the champion may enter. Sorry, regulations. Hot dog. Mr. Hoggle's meaty work of art refills 5 HP and 5 FP. <laughs> What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right, go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Found him. <laughs> Who in tarnation are you, son? Who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yeah, it's me, Grubba, and you're just one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now, an athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Ooh-wee, then that dude change a thing or two, son? I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skitty for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now play me strength straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to the fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me up for life. You're reading me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You're reading me here, son. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. It's a Game Boy Advance. Now how you like this part? Just feast your eyes, go on, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight, deluxe? You become champ son and you get the key to this room. I get the GBA. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no one world champion. Fall on your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. 
can see you got the fire for a two par. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been sure about a fighter. So sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name down here. Sign me up. I signed the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pard likes a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo wee, I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzales. Hoo, ain't that a beaut. Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good comes round once in a while. Once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzales. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in here a moment, darling? What a... Okay. Yes, sir, you wish to see me? Sure did, hon, Jolene. This is the great Gonzales. Be a peach and take him on down. Nah, it's Princess Peach. To the minor league locker room, alrighty. By the way, sir. Mr. Gonzales, uh, if you would be so kind, please follow me. They have so many different kinds of toads in this universe. As you know, you're a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who will match up against who you'll match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. And picked ranked match. It's so cool. It's a oh, it's so neat. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What's your command rank match? It had the G Game Boy Advance jingle and everything. I have memories of playing my GBA, playing Robopon 2 and Mega Man Zero, to name a few. Oh man. Well, howdy, Gonzales. Ready to get your fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene. Okay, son. Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle's reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. I think it's pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubber sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzales. What is it, Mr. Gonzales? I don't date fighters. Okay. <laughs> Take care of yourself, man, and don't make any rookie mistakes. You know what I mean? Gonzales, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security this year to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. What's up? Scoring off next, folks, are the meteorite hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzales. Is it Gonzales? Gonzales is spelled differently, though. I wonder if it's like a, a play on words of the name Gonzales. 
The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all hit. He did up for a fight. Let's check in. Hello, Goomba Bros. How are you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk on a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez? Yeah, Gonzales, Gonzalez. It could be Gonzalez, but Gonzalez is Z-O-L-E-Z. So I don't know if this is just a different spelling for it or if it's Gonzales. A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're going to teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now just to save time later. Hot diggity dang, fight fans. There's the great Gonzales now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay, now, Gonzales, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk. Oh, <laughs> okay. Rude of you. Disqualify. The Goomba just struck first. What sort of base cowards attack before the match officially begins? Honestly. Come on, Mario, darling. We shan't lose lo to low lives. Let's teach him a lesson. Aw, oh, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Appeal to the crowd at least once. Alright, we're gonna have you appeal to the crowd. Because I might just end up killing you with the jump. Aw, oh, I should've healed before this. Dang it. Dang it. Wow. Just honey syrup, I guess. I knew I should have gone to an inn or something. Nope. Try harder. I'm gonna school all of you. Oh, goodbye. Get him, Flurry. This music. All right, Mario, don't screw this up. Oh, dang it. I got three. That's all that matters. Uh, now, get him. Body slam. Stylish, stylish. I don't know how to do the stylish thing. I did it once unintentionally. One star point, don't make me laugh. Ah! Uh, the Great Gonzales wins! Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory in life? It was savage. It was okay, I guess. It was a joke. <laughs> Mario. Listen to this guy, he's like a poet of the arena. I tell you what I just saw, folks, a whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero, let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzales. Let's go. Not too shabby for a first fight, Gonzales. You got some promise. Anyways, I'll be heading out now. Go and get your fight money from Jolene. Here's your fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzales. Let's go. Rank 19. The rank went up because you met the conditions. The next fight will not be set up until you select rank match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you want until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzales. Alright. Well. I need to go heal. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? What's up? I'm King K, just a Bush League scrub like you. King K rule? But you're a Koopa. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice, Bomb. As Mr. Jul as Ms. Jolene was saying, you better, Bomb, obey Mr. Grub's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win, your rank won't go up even if you win the Bomb. Win the match, Bomb. Yeah, my man has you, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. 
That's just sometimes bomb. Advice is always useful. Bomb, bomb. Right, man? Whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Eh, nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefter. Rock, Clefter, no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Clef man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get the use, use to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. If you need something, ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are going to have to square off eventually, so good luck, man. Use this bed. I will rest for free. 